Yeah, I got it right here. Amen, amen, amen. Father, we come to you now in the gracious and mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for once again, we, you allow us to come into your presence. We thank you, Father, for your holy presence that's in this place. Holy Spirit, we yield to you, spirit, soul, and body, mind, will, and emotions. Everything of us, let it be silent. But let all of you speak tonight in this place. Holy Spirit, we yield to you. We yield our vocal to you. We yield our mind, our will, our emotions to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Yes. Take what we give you and use it for the glory of God. And God, we thank you. And we say that it is done in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I bind every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease right now. I bind it in the spirit realm right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I release the anointing. To heal and deliver in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified in this place and through the word that will go forth tonight. And God, we thank you and we thank you that is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe tonight that you will hear the word of God. And God will speak to your heart, amen, through the word. Because I believe we serve a living God. Amen. Our God is not dead. He's alive. He is alive, glory to God. Amen. amen. Now that's my belief. I don't know what you believe. <laughs> but that's my belief. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So the word that... Jesus Christ, uh, God is glorified. Jesus Christ is glorified when we are when we receive our healing. Amen. And as you study the apostles, you see in the book of Acts that there was many healings that the apostles did. Amen. Now these were just men like you and me. Amen. But they were walking in the power and the spirit that the Lord Jesus said that they could. And they did it how? They did it by faith. Mm -hmm. They did it by faith. Amen. God is expecting you to understand where you are and to begin to operate from that same standpoint. Amen. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, Glory to God, in, uh, in the book of uh, oh Lord, uh, Matt, uh, Luke, Gospel chapter 4, in the book of Luke, Gospel chapter 4. That's in the New Testament. In case y'all wondering where the book of Luke is at. Verse number 18. Luke, Gospel chapter 4, verse number 18 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. You see, I believe, I, I believe I've been sent. And that's why I preach on this and teach on this so much. Because I believe I've been sent for this purpose. I believe I've been called for this purpose. And I believe that the anointing all my life is for this purpose. Amen. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recover of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, verse number 19, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. I believe that God, you see, there's some people, there's some people that's going to be listening to us even after tonight is over. There's going to be some people that is listening to us that are sick in their body. Amen. There are going to be some people that listen to us that are that are hurting. There are going to be some people listening to us that are in pain. There are going to be some people listening to us running COVID fever. Amen. And they want to be free. They want to be healed. They don't want, see, because they know that COVID 
it's, it's like a, a, a sentence death, a death sentence. People die from, die from that dreadful disease, that dread, dreadful virus. Amen. So we believe that God is going to touch people tonight all across the land. Amen. Hallelujah. Are y'all are y'all in agreement with that? Amen. Amen. Good. I'm glad you all in agreement with that because I believe that God want to touch some lives tonight, and I believe that God want to heal and deliver some people tonight. Amen. And it doesn't matter who you are, where you at right now. If you are listening to this message, I want you to purpose in your heart that you're going to get yours. <laughs> I'm getting mine. Ain't that right? That, that's what you that's what you need to be saying right out of your mouth. I'm getting mine. Amen. I'm not going to listen to a message like this and not, and not receive what I'm not receive what I need. Amen. If I don't need it, I may not. I, I'm going to listen to it. But if I need it, I'm going to listen to it. And if I listen to it, glory to God. I'm going to put a I'm going to put a demand on that anointing. I'm going to put a demand on that gift. <clears throat> and I'm going to get mine. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Bible tells us here in the book of Luke, once again, verse number 18, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me. And like I said, I believe that I've been anointed for this purpose. Amen. I've been anointed for this purpose. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I believe that God's hand is upon you right where you are. You that are believing God for healing, I believe that God wants to touch you right where you are. There's no distance in the spiritual realm between you, this message, and God. God, he's there. But you know what? He's here too. And because I, and, and the Bible said, listen here, my God, this is, this is awesome. Because he said in Psalm 107, in verse number 20, because see, I am, a, I am a voice of God tonight. And God said that he did what? He sent his word. Uh, and I'm releasing that word to go forth right now. Amen. I'm releasing that word to go forth right now. He said he sent his word and healed them. And deliver them from their destruction, Amen. And I'm and I'm being a and I'm being a, a, a his son. I'm a carrier of the anointing, Amen. I'm sending his word out forth now, Amen. Those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying, and let them release their faith and receive according to their faith. Be it unto you, according to your faith. Be it unto you, because I believe that God is right now touching hearts and lives. Amen. And I just, I'm just here to encourage you to, to, for you to, I want you to understand that the same God that spoke in time past said, let there be light. The same God is saying, let them receive their healing. Amen. Because he said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, amen, verse number four says, Glory to God, I feel this thing. Surely, <laughs> he had borne our grief and carried our sorrow. See, see, I believe that he, he bore my grief. I believe he bore your grief. I believe he bare our sorrows. Amen? Amen? I believe he did this for us. Why? Because he knew that someday, somewhere along the line, that there was going to be a people that's going to be crying out to him for a healing in their body. So surely, surely, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, the Bible says that we are, we are, not going to be, not might be. He said we are healed. We are healed. Amen. So if you believe in God for your healing tonight, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to pull you pull your antennas up real high. Amen. You know when you get it, you know you, you, those, those old model cars, you have to pull your antenna up. Amen. The new cars, you don't have to pull them up. They got a little black thing sitting on the top of it. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that little bit of thing sitting on, on top of your on top of your your your, uh, your car. Amen. Right above the windshield. Amen. But uh, but in the old cars, in the old cars, you had that antenna, you had to pull it all the way up. <laughs> 
Amen. And I'm and I'm telling you right now, I'm one of them. I'm, I'm in my I'm in my old I'm in my old self tonight. So pull your antenna up. Glory to God. Let the receiver be able to pull in everything that you need to hear and receive. And then not only that, but receive what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. Receive it. Glory to God. Receive it. Because I'm telling you that you're in the right place tonight. Glory to God. And at the right time. Hallelujah. And I don't, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you are. Amen. And it, all, it, all that matters is that you believe the gospel. That you believe the gospel. Amen. Glory to God. Because the purpose of healing, the purpose of healing, the Bible says, so that the name of the Lord may be what? Glorified. Glorified. Amen. So when people are receiving their healing, when people are being healed, they're going to give God glory for it. Why? Because, wow, they received a miracle. They received a touch. They received a tangible touch from Almighty God. Amen. Isn't that enough to cause someone to begin to cry out? And so, God, thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. If it hadn't been for the Lord on my side. <laughs> oh, glory to his name. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. So now, so now, so now let's look here. Let's look at a couple of scriptures here. And I want to I want to just com just confirm what I just said to you in the word. Amen. In the book of Psalms, chapter 40, 145. Psalms 145. Amen. Come on, let's turn there with me if you don't mind. Psalm 145. And right. Before Proverbs. Mm -hmm. And then right after Job. <laughs> I'm going to stop messing with y'all one of these days. Okay. okay, that's Psalm 145. Look at verse number. Look down at verse number 8. Amen. Verse number 8. He said, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion and slow to anger and of great mercy and of great mercy amen glory to God thank you Vince I received that hallelujah amen verse number 9 says the Lord is good to all and his tender mercy are over all his works. Are over all his works. Amen. Can y'all see that? His, his tender mercy is over all his works. Glory to God. Now let's go to Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4. Are y'all still there? Glory to Acts chapter 4. Now look right here at Acts chapter 4 and verse number 19 through 21. Acts chapter 4, verse 19 through 21. And he said, And Peter, and Peter and John answered and said unto him, unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak. That thing which we have seen and heard. So then they had further threatened them. They let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men, they did what? They glorified God for what? For that which was done. They glorified God. Of that which was done. Amen. When people receiving their healing, it brings glory to God. Amen. Amen. It brings glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. See, healing is a result of heal, healing is a result of one uh, just 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 purposely opening up their heart and simply believing the gospel. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Look at Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. 
Matthew chapter 15. And then look right here at verse number. Glory to God. Verse number 30. Amen. And it's talk it's it's talking about the, the woman of Cana. Amen. Uh, it's a very, very, a very good lesson. If you start reading verse number 22 all the way down to 31, you find out that it is a, a very good lesson here. Amen. But no, I'm not going to go through the whole subject right now, but we're going to go right here. Verse number, verse number, what I said, the, verse number 30. And a great multitude came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at the feet, at Jesus' feet. And he healed them, insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, and maimed to be healed, to be whole, and lame to walk, and the blind to see what they do. And they glorified the God of Israel. See, when people are being healed, when people are being delivered, when people are being set free, they they just come, they just get, they just cut loose. Because you see, that's right. They just can't help themselves because of the because of what because of what God has done for them. They got to tell. You remember when you first got born again? When you first got saved? You wanted to tell everybody what had happened to you, and they and, and, and you found out they didn't want nothing to do with what what's going on with you. <laughs> amen. I, I experienced that. I experienced that in my life. Amen. I got born again. I got saved, and I wanted to tell everybody. I want I want to get everybody saved in. Amen. But I come to find out that every time I talk about the Lord and how good what He had done for me, they want to put my little fire out. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my face with that mess. You know, they, they cuss, some of them cuss me out. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is that I just had to tell somebody what the Lord has did for me. And that's the same thing that's going to happen when people are getting healed. Amen. Glory to God. When people are getting healed, they're going to have to tell somebody. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and let me tell you something. Tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to re, I'm re, be releasing in the spirit, your flu shot. <laughs> By the spirit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be releasing your flu shot. Amen. Glory to God. And that's why, we, that's why we're doing this now. Because they, they advertise uh, they advertising a whole lot about flu shot right now. Amen. And, and, uh, and, and God, flu shot is a whole lot better. Amen. A whole lot better. Amen. So, so we now let's now let's deal with the, let's deal with this message now. And back in the book of Acts, chapter two, verse number twenty, verse number forty-three. Acts chapter two, verse number forty-three. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's deal, deal with this message because we don't have all night. Amen. We have a, a just a a little time. Then we got to move on to something else. Hallelujah. So in the book of Acts, chapter 2, there we go, book of Acts, chapter 2, now let's look on down in verse number 43, and it said, and fear come, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. See, the apostles, they were natural men just like you, but they were walking in the power of the word of God. Where they went, they exercised the healing power of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but they, they ministered to the people. Glory to God. Look at chapter 3, verse number 1. Since we're right here by it. Chapter 3, verse number 1. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb whom they had carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John, now notice, now notice here what it says now, who seeing who? Peter, Peter and John. 
In other words, these men had been ordained and been sent out. Amen. But notice, notice what he's saying right here. And seeing, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asking alms. And Peter, notice what he said, Peter fastened his eyes on him with John. Oh my God. Said, look on us. Silver, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But what I have, you can surely have. Well, what do you got? You don't have silver and gold. I want money. No, I got some better than money. <laughs> I have the power of the name of Jesus walking in me, talking in me, working through me, just for you. He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. See, he released the anointing. He released the faith. He released the power of God through that which God gave them. What did he give them? He gave them the name of Jesus. The power was released when they believed in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I want you to I want you to release your faith right now. Because I sense the anointing right now. It's starting to, I sense the anointing right now is starting to be stirred in this place. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. So he said, and it goes on to say, it goes on to say, what we have right now, verse number seven. Verse number seven says. And he took him by the right by the by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately, notice what he said, immediately his feet and ankle bone received strength. Received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him. Whoa, my God, do you see this? Now there was just one man. Now this one man have got this one man miracle has got the attention of all. He said because all the people. Woo, in verse number verse number nine right there. He said all the people. Are y'all see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Verse number, verse number nine says, And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he. In other words, they knew that it was that lame man. They always big. Because they remember his clothes. They remember how he smelled. They remember <laughs> how he looked. Amen. They knew, they knew it was that man. And when they saw this, it got everyone's attention. Miracles still happening today, folks. And miracles is still getting people's attention today. And I believe that someone is going to be getting someone's attention because of this message today. I don't know whether you're going to be here or somewhere across the universe, somewhere out in the world somewhere. Amen. But you that listen to this message, there's an anointing that is flowing right now. There's an anointing that is flowing right now. Glory to God. And you need to release your faith. You need to release your faith. Verse number 10 says, And they knew that, and they knew that it was he which sat at, for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which was which had happened unto him. Amen. Verse number 12 says. Verse number 12 says, And then Peter saw it. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel. See, now he's beginning to preach now. He's beginning to declare some things now. You men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly upon us? As though by our own power or holiness, we have made this man to walk. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, had glorified, notice what he said, had glorified his son. Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One of, and the, you denied the Holy One and the just and the desire a murderer to be released, to be granted unto you and killed the Prince of Life. 
whom God had raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Verse number 16. And his name, now get this now, this is this is your, this is the this is this is the golden nugget that we need right now. Those of you that believe in God for healing, those of you believe in God for your breakthrough, those of you believe in God for your deliverance. This is your, this is it. This is the nugget, the golden nugget that is hidden in this word that God has given us today. Notice what he said, verse number 16. In his name. Now, no, get this now. You need to underline this. Through faith in his name. Glory to God. You need to underline that, put parentheses around that, 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 that phrase because you see, he's telling you exactly what the man, what, what, what caused that miracle to take place. Amen. He said, he said, he said, in his name, through faith in his name, had made this man strong, whom ye see and know. <coughs> Amen. Yea, the faith which is of the faith is by him had given him perfect soundness in the press in the presence of you all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, it doesn't matter what you're suffering with. It doesn't matter what the what you're going through. It's through his name and faith in his name. That's something that you got to apply. That's why I said, if you believe in God, God is here today. But you need to believe the word and release your faith. Amen. Now, some people get healed just by hearing, amen, and hearing by the word of God, amen. But you need to have faith because, because that's the same way faith comes. Faith coming by what? Yeah. Hearing. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm releasing my faith. And the word of God is going forth. And as your faith is being, being touched by the word of God, God is being, God is being magnified, amen. God is being magnified because you're going to have a testimony. Hallelujah. Your testimony is going to stand sure, going to stand firm, and it's going to stand strong. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at verse number 15. What it says, verse number 15. And because, see, now they, 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 they've, seen, they, 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 they've seen all this stuff that is happening. Amen. But know what it says, verse number, verse number 15 again. It says, and killed the prince of life, whom God has raised up from the dead, wherein we are witnesses. See, they killed him. Amen. But you know what? On that third day, oh, oh glory to God. He rose again. He rose again on that third day. Glory to God. And 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 he said in verse number 16 again, and his name, through faith in his name, had made this man strong. It's your faith that's going to make you strong. Amen. Your faith in the word that you hear and receive is going to make you strong. Now, I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. All that matters is that you have faith in his name and the word that you're hearing. Because the word is full of the life and the nature of God. And when we believe it, the Bible said we are attending to his word. And that what it said in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, yes. verse number 20. My son, attend to my word. No, but I'm paying attention to what the word is saying. And it's not only, I'm not only hearing what the word of God said, but I'm hearing by faith I'm receiving. Glory to God. And by faith, it's manifesting. And I may not look like I'm healed, but glory to God, according to the word of God, he bore my sicknesses, he carried my diseases, and by his stripes, I am healed. It doesn't matter what it looked like. All that matters is what the word said, and I'm in agreement with what the word said. As long as I'm in agreement with what the word said, the circumstances and symptoms and everything is no issue. Because the word overrides it all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. So you got to come in agreement with the word 
and only you come in agreement with the word that you attend to his word. Incline your ear unto his saying. For they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. See there? Your flesh. He want to heal your flesh. Ooh, glory to God. Amen. Amen. So you that are you that are that are going through uh, uh, you, you that are having these symptoms in your body, these cold symptoms, these flu symptoms, and this this COVID nineteen, this uh, 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 coronavirus symptoms. Let me tell you something. It's under the curse. It's under the curse. Remember what it said in First Peter chapter two, verse number twenty four. Let's turn that for a second. First Peter 2, 24. Who his own self bear out sins in his own body. Let me get over and turn to it. I'm going to read this right out of the Bible. Y'all know what First Peter is? It's right before First John. <laughs> First Peter 2, 24. Here we go. And it reads... Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on a tree. That we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness. Then it says, by whose stripes. Now this is past here. This is not, and Isaiah is present tense. The prophecy that Isaiah was prophesied, that was present tense. Amen. He gave, he gave it to us in present tense. But right here in the book of 1 Peter, we see it in the past. Amen. So that means it's not only been given present, but it has come to pass. It has come to pass. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to the name of the Lord forever. Amen. So now we see this thing. We see this, we see this word. Now let's go back to the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse number, verse number uh, 16. Matthew 8, verse number 16. Amen. But we really want to look at verse number 17, but let's, we're going to read verse number 16 and 17. Okay? And it reads, Matthew 8, verse 16 says, When even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the devil with his word and healed all that were sick. And healed all that were sick. Amen? Verse number 17 says, That it might be fulfilled. Now, now, now this is not... Verse number 17 is referred back to the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. Amen. This is seven years later. A few years later. I don't know if it's seven or 70 or 700 years. Amen. I don't know if it's 700 years, but But the Bible said right here that uh, in verse number 17, very important, it said that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities. Amen. Himself. Who is, who is himself? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus himself took our infirmity and bear our sicknesses. Amen. And bear our sicknesses. Amen. Glory to God. So when we looked at that, when we looked at that, we can see that God is talking about something very, very important. Now we can look up here in chapter, and we're still in chapter eight. Look at here, verse number, verse number two, amen. Verse number two. This, this is this is something that is what they call a, I call it a death sentence because you got leprosy, you got a death sentence. And so Jesus was not a, Jesus. He operated in God's healing power. He operated in God's wisdom. He operated in the in, in the fullness of the Spirit, amen. And he wasn't afraid of nothing. He wasn't afraid of nothing. And God wants you to come to the same place that you will not be afraid of nothing. But that you will give ear to the Spirit of to what the Spirit of God is saying to you. Amen. That you will give ear to what the Spirit of God is saying. So in verse number two said, And behold, there come a leper and worship him, worship him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And Jesus put forth, and Jesus put forth his hand. Notice what he said, and Jesus put forth his hand. And touched him, saying, 
I will. See, God is willing. God is still willing today. God is still willing today. He said, I will. And and, that, and right there, God is saying, I, even today, I am still willing. I'm still willing to extend my hand. I'm still willing to extend my mercy. I'm still willing to extend my compassion. I'm still willing to extend my gracious anointing to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out devils. Amen. He said, free as you receive it, free to give it. Amen. So God is still willing to heal you. Why? Because you are his children and the sheep of his pastors. Amen. And because you, because you, because you have, because you, you cry out to him, he, he, he look upon you and he said, that's my son. That's my daughter. Amen. And I want to deliver them. I will deliver them. I will not only deliver them, but I will set them free from all the entanglement of the enemy. I like this right here because he says right here, he said right here in verse number three, he said, and Jesus put forth his hands and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. See, Jesus had no fear of touching, of ministering to people with contagious diseases. He had no fear, no fear. Amen. And they talk about, well, you can't go around people that, that got coronavirus. You're going to come back with it. No, you ain't going to come back with it if you're walking in the spirit. Amen. Amen. If you're walking in the spirit, you ain't coming back with it. Why are you not coming back with it? Because the spirit of God is protecting you. The spirit, you, you, you got your whole, you got the you got you got the presence of God upon your life. You walking in the armor. Amen. And no evil shall be felt, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. <laughs> neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. Why? Because the Lord has given his angels charge over you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. And I like this because verse number, look at verse number five right here. Because see, I don't have to be everywhere. To declare what God is saying. I can be right here and declare what God is saying, and He can touch you right wherever you are in the world. It can touch you wherever you are in the world. Notice what it said right in verse number five. It said, And when Jesus entered to Capernaum, there coming unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of palsy, and grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. I like this verse number eight. And the centurion answered and said unto him, and the centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not what? Worthy. I'm not worthy that y'all should come under my roof. I'm not worthy that I should come under my roof. What that next phrase says, you need to underline this. Because you see, you don't have to be in the very presence of someone for them to be healed. You can be in another state. You can be in another country. But if they hear the word that you're speaking, amen. Nobody said verse number, verse number eight. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Amen. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Glory to God. And I like that man. That man, he exercised the kind of faith that God was looking for in his followers. But he didn't find this type of faith not in his followers. No. No, we hear him say that right here. Verse number 9 says, For I have not... Listen, but I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this one, to this man, go and he goeth, and to another come and he cometh, and I say to him, this one, go, go, yes. do this, and he doeth it. In verse number 10, when Jesus heard it, he marveled. He marveled. Why did he marvel? Because he had never heard no one speak like that. Oh, glory to God. He had never heard, he hadn't heard anyone speak that way. And in verse number, and he marveled and said unto them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in any of you. <laughs> no, not in Israel. Amen. No, not in Israel. I have not found. And nobody said, and nobody, the next phrase he said right in verse number 11. Verse number 11 said, And I say unto you that, that many shall come from the east and from the west, and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou had believed, so be it done unto thee. And the servant was healed in that self-same hour. Because Jesus 
All he had to do was to come in agreement with what the man was asking and just release the anointing. He didn't have to be there. He just had to have someone to believe. This man not only said, Lord, I don't need you to come to my roof, but I believe if you just speak the words and my servant will be healed. Amen. I believe if you just speak the words and my servant shall be healed. Amen. They ask it. You know, that's a, that's, that, that right now, there's a, that's a, that's a people that, that, are, that are sick right now. And, and they don't, they, they, they look for someone that they can call that will come to them and lay hands on them. You don't need hands laid on you. You just need to release your faith. You just need to believe the gospel. Amen. You just need to believe the gospel. Because the healing is in the word. The healing is in the word. Remember what he said in Psalm 107 verse 20? He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Amen. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He has not taken his word back. His word is still working. His word is still working. Hallelujah. His word is still working. Are y'all glad that his word is still working? Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I am so thankful that the word is still working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. My God is alive. He's not dead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus went about doing good and healing all. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. God was with him. And I like what he said in Acts chapter 10, verse number 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Hallelujah. See, God has anointed Larry with the Holy Ghost and with power. <laughs> you hear what I just said? God has anointed Pastor Larry with the Holy Ghost and with power to minister to the city. Amen. Glory to God. I believe that. I believe that. And so now, Hosha Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I believe. I believe, Father. Yeah. Kondirisi mangras borobosi kiti talaba. Shakale la basatalaba. Jesus had the spirit without measure. Hallelujah. But we walk in a measure of the Spirit through our faith. Hallelujah. I believe that it's time for you and you that are with us by the internet, I believe right now that if you begin to purpose in your heart to release your faith because I sense the anointed Right now, it's beginning to rest down, begin to rest upon me to to release it upon you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatalabako, dandrese mandrapa goroseki, e roso mo karase de la labakai. Ah, salabakia, oh shene, ah kasa. Oh my God, my God, my God, Father, Father. Oh, shete la la bakura basa. Hmm. You know what I hear? I hear the spirit saying, "Someone is lying on me." <laughs> oh God! He said, "Touch not." Someone is lying on me. Ah. Hallelujah. Someone is putting their mouth on me. <laughs> Father, forgive them. For they know not what they're doing. Because you said, touch not mine anointed. And to do my prophets no harm. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, that you forgive that person or those people 
They probably have never been in my presence. They probably don't even know who I am. They probably have heard somebody else say something they didn't like. I don't know what the cause is, Father. Or someone just made up a lie just to try to turn people away from me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive them. For they know not what they do. And now, Father, I ask you to heal their emotions. Heal their troubled mind. Right now, I rebuke every spirit of wickedness that have attached itself to them that caused them to believe a lie. I rebuke that lying spirit right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you. Glory to God. Now, Father, back on the area that I was mentioning on, I just caught that in my spirit. Someone was lying on me. Amen. Somebody put their mouth on me. I caught that in the spirit. Very, very plain. I heard it. Very plain. They, they don't stop. They're going to be in trouble with God. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, if you don't like what I do, you better pray for me. You don't be putting your mouth on me. You better pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory to God. I'm God's property, not yours. You don't have no right to touch me. Mm -hmm. Woo! Glory to God. My God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing right now. There are people, Lord God, that is believing for a touch from heaven. Oh, shatanina boko do randireda basatala. Father, we just read in your word by the centurion. He said, I'm not worried that you will come under my roof, but just speak the word. And God, we know that we can just speak the word because your word declares it. We see the example in the word. That we can just speak the word. Because you already said in Psalm 107 verse 1 that you sent your word. So Father, we speak the word over those right now that are releasing their faith. We speak the word over those that are releasing their faith right now. And we say in the, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And Father, we, we, we curse every, every germ, every virus that will, that will attach itself to their bodies. We rebuke it by the authority of him who have called us out of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, for the President of the United States and his family and the Vice President and his family. Father, I rebuke that coronavirus. I rebuke that virus off of them right now in the name of Jesus. I declare the decree that they shall walk in divine health. In the name of Jesus. They shall finish their course. They shall finish their course. In Jesus name. No weapon formed against them will prosper. And God they are not losing this election. I decree it now in Jesus name. Oh shout out about you. Healing belongs to you. If you can believe it. Have faith in God. And God will bring it to pass. Father, I thank you right now. I bless your people. And I give you the glory and praise for all that you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'm done for tonight. Glory to God. Y'all tired. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to pray for y'all that want to be prayed for. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to. We're going to call it. Amen. Because I believe that God is touching lives right now. I believe that God is touching lives right now. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you are. All that matters is that you have faith to believe. If you have faith to believe, you shall receive. Amen. And God will be glorified the moment you release your faith. God is being glorified. Because you have made a difference in your heart by believing. God is not moved by unbelief. God is moved when we believe. He moves on faith. 
and let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Oh, hallelujah. Sickness and disease is not your friend. It's your enemy. He's there to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Notice Jesus gave them, that, that Jesus spoke all of that. Amen. He told you that the enemy has come to steal, kill, and to destroy. But he also said, but I come that you may have life that you may have it more abundantly. That was all written in red, so Jesus spoke all of that. Amen. And I'm telling you right now, let the spirit of life begin to rise up within you. Let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Let that sickness leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I'm talking, I'm talking to someone right now. Someone is listening to me right now, and you believe in God for a healing in your body. Right now, I want you to lay your hand on your body. Lay your hand on your body right now. In the name of Jesus, do it. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Father. The Bible tells us in the book of Mark, chapter 16, that we shall lay hands on the sick. Verse number 18, we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, who's he talking about? He's talking about the believer. Are you a believer? Then he's talking to you. You can lay hands on the sick and you shall recover. You are sick, your body, your body is sick, and you are a believer. You have hands. Lay your hands on your body right now in Jesus' name. Father, say this with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hand on my body. My body is sick. And I believe today that as I, as I release my faith, I believe that my body will recover from this sickness. In the name of Jesus, I release God's healing power right now into my body. Body, be healed in Jesus' name. I speak to the germs. I speak to the viruses. I command you, leave the body. Leave that body now in Jesus' name. Body, be healed. Receive your healing now. There it is. There go to power. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. There go to power. God said it. I believe him. That sells it. It's up to you now. It's up to you now. Oh, share tell out about Kor It's up to you now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Hallelujah. From the White House to the back house, to the outhouse. Receive your healing. Glory to God. Receive your healing. Jesus is touching lives right now. And Father, we thank you. And I just praise him and thank him for your healing. Praise him and thank him for your healing. Father, we received our healing. We thank you for our healing. We choose to walk in divine health. We choose to walk in divine health and healing. No weapon formed against us will prosper, Lord God. Father, we choose to walk in divine health and healing. Father, your word declares that you bore out sick and you carried out diseases. And by your strength, we are healed. So if we are healed, we are walking in our healing right now. We're not going to look to the left nor to the right. We're going to keep our eyes focused. We're going to walk right on. We're going to look right on in the name of Jesus. Because we are the healed and not the sick. We are the blessed and not the cursed. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is flu season. Now, Father, we've been redeemed from the curse of the law. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. And sickness and disease and viruses and all this stuff comes under the curse, Father. Now, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. I rebuke it off those under the sound of my voice. Those that will receive it, I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Those that will believe it, let it be done for them now in Jesus' name. And Father, let the Holy Ghost begin to minister to their hearts the peace and the love in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God and let us make a decision in our heart that this fall that we will walk in divine health and healing this fall we will walk in divine health and healing every germ, every, every flu germ every coronavirus germ 
everything that was not from God that touched my body would die instantly in the name of Jesus. I receive it, so let it be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Well, my brother and sister, I've enjoyed sharing this word with you guys tonight. And now let's go ahead and take our evening offering. And we're going to pray for those that want prayer. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to take our evening offering. We're going to pray for those that want prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. That's fine. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this offering. You that are with us by the internet, you want to plant a seed tonight? You want to, you want to seal your healing with the seed tonight? Go to my website. That's LarryBurgensMinistries.com. LarryBurgensMinistries.com. Use your, use your, uh, 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 your, your, your gifts that God has given you, which is your ATM card, your credit card. Amen. Plant your seed by faith and believe God that what God has promised, he's able to bring it to pass. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release our faith right now over this seed. Father, we declare we have more than enough to meet every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father, I bless this offering and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're here today and you listen today and you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, and right now you know that, that God is, is looking upon us with the eye of mercy. He's giving us a second opportunity. Some of you may be a third, fourth, fifth opportunity, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that God has not given up on you. That's what matters, that God has not given up on you and that his love for you is from everlasting to everlasting. And he said he's married to the backslider, so that's a good thing. If you're a backslider, it might, you, might, you might want to consider returning to the Lord right now. Amen. You don't want to go out in a backsliding state, a backslidden state. You want to make things right with God right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if I'm talking to you, that means God is talking to you. If you hear me, that means God is talking to you. And if you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, and you know that you're, you, 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 you're running in a, I'm talking to someone right now, you're in a game, you, you, and you, you come close two or three times within the last few days and God spared you who glory to God I sensed it very strong and God spared you now you know that it was God because there was no other way to explain how you was delivered out of the hands of the enemy and God has given you another chance right now to make things right with him Amen. Because that enemy that God delivered you from, he's still out there. And if he see you, you might be in trouble. So I'm asking you right now to make that decision today. Turn your heart toward God and you'll find out that everything that the devil has meant for evil concerning your life, all of a sudden, it's gone. What the devil has meant for evil is gone. Amen. The protection of God is suddenly upon your life. Amen. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit. And renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. And as you came into this earth, and you gave your life. You gave your life as a ransom for my life. And now, Father, 
I thank you for the price that you paid for my deliverance. I receive it by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If that's you and you said that prayer, I want you to know how much God loves you, how much God cares for you. You didn't let no devil stop you from acknowledging that Jesus Christ gave his life for you. And because you did not allow the enemy to stop you from acknowledging that, Right now, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is moving on your behalf. He's moving on your behalf to bring you to that place of inner peace, to deliver you from the spirit of destruction and set your feet in a, on a path that is lit up to show you the way. The Spirit of God will lead you and guide you in all truth, and he's going to show you things to come. Father, I thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. And Father, for those who just rededicated their life to the Lord, I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen them, that you would give them the, the, the courage not to look back again. Not to look back again. For he that looking back is like a dog look, turning back to his own vomit. Father, I ask you to give them the strength and the ability to press on forward, looking unto Jesus as the author and the finisher of their faith. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. I thank God for you that have given your heart to the Lord tonight. Amen. Now, anyone need prayer right now, I will pray for you. Amen. Well, let's just pray for these that with us by the internet there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for your miracle healing power that is released right now over the internet. Father, that people all across the internet, Father, oh yeah, oh my God, that's a strong anointing right now. And the fire of God is right in the palm of my right hand right now, and it's touching lives. It is touching lives right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We say that it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. We certainly enjoyed being with you today, and we believe that God is working on your behalf. We love you. Until the next time, God bless you. Amen. We thank God for you. We know that. And don't forget to join us on Tuesday night. Amen. Join us on Tuesday night. We'll be back here again on Tuesday night sharing a powerful word from the Lord just for you. God bless you. Amen. Cut up.